Ellington School of the Arts, named for the legendary band leader, will welcome students back after a $178 million modernization. This design has state-of-the-art theaters and labs and studios, so we took the Jazz Masters A train to get a guided tour and check it out. I am J.C. Burton, the Chief Project Delivery Officer for the Department of General Services. Welcome to the Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts. The inspiration for the, for the particular space in the, in the Performing Arts Center was Duke Ellington and his, and his piano keys. And so you can see the black and white that's actually replicated all around the school. This is the, what's known, affectionately known as the egg. Come inside. This is an 800 seat theater that has more than 148 speakers, 28 microphones, and is the home of the Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts. And the view from student stage is pretty spectacular. So not only is the school about performance arts, but it's also about visual arts. And here's one of the sculpting, cla sculpting classrooms. It's one of the only performing arts schools that will have a kiln. This is the prop studio. <laughs> the equipment that you see around the room is primarily for the design and creation of theatrical props. Let's go into the orchestra room. This orchestra room allows the students here at Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts to play with not only students that are in California, but could be in Tokyo, could be in Germany through their live streaming system. Are you excited about moving in? Yes. Before you were kind of converting a regular high school, trying to have state-of-the-art facilities in a, in a regular high school, it doesn't really work. If you can hear, it's, it's a nice control room and they'll be able to hear each other very clearly. But this is going to take Duke Elder School of the Arts until the 22nd century. The space looks very unfinished, but it's, it's unfinished by design. Any other performance hall or performance high school in the, the country doesn't have these sort of performance spaces uh, available to them. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? The Ellington School of the Arts is serious about being sustainable and they hope to be LEED Gold certified and approved by November. It's got a rainwater capture system on the roof and solar panels will be installed next year. And Mayor Bowers, Bowser rather, is hoping that you will join her for the official ribbon cutting on this Saturday, August 19th at 11 a.m.